This is Pete Montero of the Oracle BI Tech demo team. In this recording, we'll review the process for adding additional storage to your sample app V406 virtual box image. To start with, we power off the virtual machine and go into the virtual box manager and click on settings. We navigate to the storage tab and click on the controller SATA option. Here we click on add a hard disk and in our example we're going to create a new disk. We select the VMDK format and click next. We'll leave the default option of dynamically allocated and click next. And now we have to give our new disk a name. Uh, we'll just call this extra underscore space and I want an extra 100 gig on my V406 image and click create. Now that the disk has been allocated to the VM, we can power on the machine. With the VM powered on, we default as the user Oracle into the system. For the purpose of this exercise, we want to switch to the root user. So we come up to system and click logout Oracle and click switch user. And because of a setting in 406, you will have to repeat this process three times. So for the third time, we go to System, Log Out Oracle, and Switch User. And we'll now have the option to log on as our root user. And the password is admin123. Once we log on, we want to go to Applications, System Tools, Disk Utility. And down here underneath SATA host adapter, I can see that this is the hard disk that I just attached to the system. And I can see that it's not partitioned. It is formatted. So what I want to do now is I actually want to uh, format the volume and mount it to the virtual machine itself. So I come down to format volume and I'll give it a name. I'll give it the same name as the disk. And we want to leave the take ownership of file system and click format. Click format again. And now we can see that our device is formatted. And the last step in here is to mount the volume. So currently, if we look underneath the available tab here, it is not available because we have not mounted it. So we'll click on mount volume. And we can see that it's now mounted at the root media extra space. Now that that's completed, we can exit the disk utility and if I open up a file browser I can see that here's my mounted device my extra space If I go into it now right now I'm in as the user root so I obviously have access to it in order for the standard out-of-the-box user Oracle to have access to it we need to make some security modifications so to do that we're going to open up a terminal window so now we want to change the ownership of the folder itself that we just created. So to do that, we'll type the following command. And what this is doing, this is changing ownership of that mounted device to the user Oracle. With the ownership of the mounted device change, we can exit this terminal window and what we'll do is log back in as the root as the Oracle user so we'll log out root and say switch user and we'll log back in as Oracle admin 123 now if I open up my file browser I can see my mounted device on the left hand side extra space if I click on it I can now come in here and I can create a folder if I right click on the folder and go to properties, I can see that my extra uh, space storage device is 93 gig. If I click on permissions, I can see that the user Oracle is the owner. And so now I can use this mounted device for uh, anything necessary when running V406. Lastly, if I come up to applications and I click on system tools, disk use an analyzer, I can see that I've increase my total capacity of my 406 deployment by 100 gig.